a rivalry forged over generations and played out on the football pitch between the country's two most successful sides. In the Premier League, one of these teams carved out a record of dominance, but that recent history appears to be being overturned. Manchester's Reds, 20 times title winners and current champions, have a new boss trying to make his mark. But David Moyes' side are 18 points off the pace. Liverpool's Reds, 18 times title winners, have performed with glorious confidence. They are second, seven points behind leaders Chelsea. With the Merseysiders set to finish above United for the first time in more than a decade, the significance is crystal clear. In England, um, I think it's the biggest game. It's um, a club of the history the two clubs have got is, is huge. Um, the rivalry between the two clubs, the fans, um, is, is probably the biggest in England. And so naturally the game is, is a massive game. It's something which you love to win, hate to lose. So it's, um, you can be feeling great or be feeling terrible after the game. So hopefully, as I said, we'll be feeling great. They've been in great form and deserve um, all the products they've, they've got this year. And, um, so it'll be difficult to stop them because they're in great form, but we have to go in there with um, you know, attitude, knowing that we can stop them and we can um, get our creative players on the ball to make us um, win the game. Golden boys for so long, United haven't finished outside the top three in more than two decades. The club have become unfamiliar with failure. Consider their form since the turn of the year, though. Five wins in 13 matches. Only recent back-to-back -back victories have kept hopes of a European place alive. With a tough second leg in the Champions League, a visit from Neighbours City and this weekend's clash with Liverpool, the next nine days could define their campaign. In the next couple of weeks, we obviously play Liverpool and, and Man City both at home, so we could um, have a huge say in, in what happens and they're both massive games for us, so... It's um, games we're going into knowing that we can win and, you know, um, we hope we can do them. We haven't given up on finishing the top four, so if we can win them games, I think we'd have a, a, a good chance of obviously finishing them. Knowing David Moyes, the way he works, and um, knowing this football club, um, we're going to... This club um, won't lie down and we, we'll come back fighting and, you know, starting by um, the game on Sunday against the pool. Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers has overseen the Merseyside club's return to the Premier League's Big Four. The Reds will arrive at Old Trafford 11 points clear of their fierce rivals and with genuine title ambitions for the first time in half a decade. Possessing the league's most lethal attack, 73 goals this season, and unbeaten in nine league games, Liverpool are stiff opposition. They deserve to finish, you know, as high as they finish. It's, um... I think you've got to respect the teams who, who, who win the league or who finish in the second, third place. Um, that's where they deserve to finish because of the points they've got. So we know how difficult it is to, to win this league and to finish you know, um, really high. So it's, um, if they finish above us, then um, all credit to them. This fixture, unsurprisingly, has more often gone the way of United. In the last nine meetings at the Theatre of Dreams, the champions have won eight. But with Liverpool eyeing a first league title since 1990 and United way off the pace, Brendan Rodgers' men will arrive at Old Trafford hoping to launch a new era in this old rivalry.